Hey my Libra loves, welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and tap into the messages, guys. It's gonna be your daily reading for October 20, ooh, October 30th. October 30th, 2023. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Holy Spirit, guardian angels, ancestors, spirit guys, spirit team of the highest white life. Please be with me for this Libra reading please help me to interpret and convey the messages accurately and clearly holy spirit and please help me to use my intuitions to gain clarity and understanding i pray that no weapon formed against us shall prosper if there's any evil or negative energy still or being sent this way i ask that it is a help it is um 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 shit i can't even fucking handle according to y'all will oh my gosh i can't even get the words out <laughs> i say amen okay calm upon the protectors of the highest white light as I turn up the messages, because, oh my goodness. All right, y'all. <laughs> I couldn't even get the words out. All right. So, let's get into it and see what your messages are for Libra. <clears throat> if you guys are new here... Please hit those like and subscribe buttons for your girl. Alrighty. Also, if you're interested in personal readings, all the information that you need can be found in the description box below by clicking on the title of the video. Alright. For Libra. For Libra. If you guys are interested in joining memberships, you can go to my page and click join. Um, I will be posting more extended readings in there. And I'm also thinking about doing, starting the Twin Flame section for those of you on Twin Flame journeys. So, yeah, just be on the lookout for that. You got King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. <sighs> All right, for Libra. Somebody could be confused about their feelings. Whether this is you or another person. For Libra. Oh, justice. This is you, Libra. Showing up. Big time in your reading, Libra. Hmm. Heard something about your enemies. If you're going through um some type of legal issues or something, because it's still on top of Scorpio. So if you're going through, which is endings, going through some type of legal thing, you can have Scorpio highly aspect in your chart. I feel like something is coming to an end or something is about to wrap up or you're going you're gonna to get some good news about that, okay? This justice card is also about karma, balancing things out. So um, how are your ancestors? Um, things are about to be balanced out for you, Libra. So if there's, I feel like if there's anybody, um, Scorpio season, during Scorpio season, yeah, um, because it fell here. So if there's anybody that's been, you know, doing you wrong, any whatever it is that you've been going through, I feel like things are about to be balanced out in Scorpio season, okay? Um, karma is about to, you know, I'm here, Mott. Mott is about to come through and knock all this shit over, balance all this shit out, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. Come here and rebirth. Yeah, that's death energy. So I feel like things are about to be balanced out um, for you, Libra. And it's going to be good news for you with the Page of Pentacles here. You can have um, offers coming in, news coming in, anything that has felt slow or stagnant. Um, if anybody was doing anything to slow you down or stagnate you, that's going to be taken care of. Um, I just keep hearing your enemies, your enemies. Your enemies are going to become your footstool. Your enemies, you're going to... Or will be exposed and knocked down, okay? Oh, shit. All right, Libra. <laughs> About to be some shaking of the tables in Scorpio season, boo. Yeah. Feels right. Justice. Justice. Mm -hmm. All right, for Libra. What is the messages for Libra, Spirit? Give me more. Other than that, dang, I just shuffled in the, in the six cups still at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are reconciling with someone. I heard Junior. Okay, so the name Junior could mean something to someone. Got 
six of cups. Yeah, somebody is adamant about coming back in your energy. And this is Scorpio energy, so it could be a Scorpio. But I feel like you're protected against whatever this is. This is somebody that you ended something with. The person still watches you. I, I don't I feel like you're protected against whatever or whoever this is, though. Yeah, eight one. See somebody wants to come in and talk to you and say something to you. Oh shit. Something's going to be exposed here or somebody wants to, I don't know, but somebody want to say something. All right, for Libra. For Libra. This one? Okay. See, Knight of Pentacles is here. That's that slow energy that I was just talking about. Yeah, and then the four of pentacles, like, um, being held back. Somebody is definitely trying to hold you back from something in some type of um, love situation or love, I was about to say love connection. In some type of, um, yeah, something to do with love, though, with the, with the king of cups and the ten of cups here and the eight of wands. Yeah, it feels like somebody... What is this? Like somebody wants to confess something to you. I'm gonna have to clarify. Yeah, because it looks like getting multiple offers. So it looks like somebody wants to confess their feelings, or some and somebody's trying to end some type of connection for you because you got the King of Cups to the Ken of, to the Ten of Cups. Somebody's name could be Ken, <laughs> Kenneth. Okay, somebody wants to come and talk to you though while you're single because they could feel like they're running out of time or something like that. So. If you're, I don't know, maybe somebody feels like you're, you're, you're slipping away or something. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Ooh, King of Wands. I mean, King of Swords in reverse. And then Virgo on the bottom. Hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Taurus. Leo. King of Swords in reverse is like ruthless. Again, this can have something to do with, like, legal matters or legal situation. If somebody is dealing with some type of legal situations, or somebody, like, has a lawyer for some reason, or needs a lawyer for some reason, I'm getting, like, that person is ruthless or that lawyer is ruthless. Um, mm, yeah, I don't know. King of Swords in Reverse is giving me very, like, don't give a fuck type energy. Like, don't care who you got to run over cut down knock over who you gotta burn to who you gotta sleep with to get to the top what that's why am i hearing that okay virgo something's being revealed here something's coming out five of pentacles somebody's being left out of the hole yeah you got the sun and the moon card so something is definitely being revealed there's a tower moment <laughs> somebody's stressed out possibly about money or finances or about a marriage or some type of commitment here with the Taurus and I mean with the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. This is a commitment, a long term commitment, but something's about to be exposed. Hmm. And I feel like with the Tower being here, if this is like a divorce or something like that that's going on, and I know that keeps coming up, but I mean that's what's here. If this is like something to do with somebody's relationship. Or it could be a financial thing. I don't know. Maybe it's a family, something going on with family and finances and court or something like that. Okay. Or maybe um, it could even be like child, something going on with child custody or something like that. But whatever this is, um, shit, I lost my damn train of thought. Three of swords. Yeah. Somebody's, somebody's not happy about it. Somebody's stressing out about it. Hmm. Somebody's definitely getting out of a situation with the with the hermit here and the five of pentacles. These both can be can talk about ghosting energy or ghosting somebody or being left out in the cold, isolation, um, things like that. 
and it's like somebody's secretly hurt by some type of ending or isolation or some type of um whatever this is that's that's ending but the other, somebody else is like happy about it so uh, uh yeah somebody's happy about an ending and somebody's not happy about an ending all right and with this king of swords in reverse i just feel like somebody will stop at nothing to try to stop something stop somebody's forward movement slow somebody down yeah with the hangman here yeah I don't know what the, I don't know, you know, what side of this you're on or what type of situation this is for you. But there is somebody in your energy that will stop at nothing to slow something down or stop something. Whether this is something to do with you, your finances, a court situation that you may be dealing with. Or whether this is somebody that you're dealing with and they're dealing with some type of person on their side that's, that doesn't want them to come towards you or something like that. Okay. So I don't know. Apply it to your situation however and wherever it fits yeah the hermit look there's a snake being uncovered there's a snake being uncovered here heavy virgo energy in this reading pisces and, and libra is here strong as well there's a gemini um virgo Taurus, capricorn all right spirit what's going on here i'm hearing dangerous dodge the bullet Secrets, something being hidden. Five of Swords. I heard secret competition. There could be somebody in secret competition with you. Judgment. Whatever this is is coming out, or somebody's gonna get. This could be a work situation for some of you. Three of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles. This could be a work situation. This balance is going to be restored. Ten of Cups to the Justice card is out here again. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So if this is somebody who's trying to stop some type of reconciliation between you and another person. They're wasting their time. If this is somebody trying to like fuck with your money or your new beginning or whatever this is, they're wasting their time. What's the energy? Mm -mm, that's too many. Y'all know there's too many. Ace of Swords. <laughs> Ace of Swords, that's the truth. The truth is going to be revealed. The Magician. Mm. Gemini, Virgo, Energy. I also heard Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Child, a pumpkin spice latte. Somebody's drinking a pumpkin spice latte right now. Or thinking about it. Ace of Swords is truth and clarity. And this is the definite conversation. Somebody wanted to say something. I'm also why am I also getting spell work? Like seven of cups could be confusion. Somebody trying to confuse somebody with a magician here. Um, six of wands, five of pentacles. The magician is about manifesting, manifestations, having everything that you need. It's kind of giving me gathering information or gathering tools. Like somebody's trying to gather some type of information on you or something yeah some type of confusion is coming to an end some type of whatever somebody's been doing in the dark i feel like it's coming to an end with this um seven of swords out here knight of cups because there's an offer that's coming in look knight of cups to the four of wands to the two of cups i mean this is what the hell Eight of Wands. Again. Okay, I'm going to need to clarify. Ace of Swords. Please, Ace of Swords. Queen of Cups. A confession of love, emotions, feelings. Somebody can't carry it anymore. Somebody um, is about to confess their feelings for you with the Queen of Cups out here. The Queen of Cups is a whole lot of dang on love, all right? 
somebody's confessing their emotions or, or becoming clear about their emotions and their feelings and they can't hold it back anymore. What's the magician? Oh my gosh, I picked it up exactly as it fell, y'all. Look at this shit. Oh my god. The king and the queen of cups. This is a couple. This is love. Is this love? Cause I gotta know. Is this real? Is it you taking over my heart? Is this love? Okay. Somebody's name could be Chris. Um, somebody's last name could be Brown. Or is it Chris Brown? So, Six of Pentacles, Reciprocity. Oh my gosh. This is something that somebody's been manifesting. The Moon card. Yeah, but I feel like with the Moon card and the Eight of Cups, somebody had to maybe like secretly walk away from some shit or something like that. Or they they have to walk away from... Because uh, the Moon card can talk about secrets. And with the Ace of Swords out here, this is about clarity. So somebody is coming out of that secretive type of holding back type of energy. Okay, Sagittarius energy is here. Pisces energy is here. Uh, Cancer, Aquarius. I'm hearing Virgo, Scorpio. Pa yeah. Okay. All right, what? Uh -huh. King and the Queen of Cups. Something that you, you guys have manifested this. You manifested this. With the magician out here. Somebody's about to express their emotions. Like a whole lot, a lot of emotions. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's about. Like. Okay, that's cute. Anyway, let's move on. Somebody's about to. Express their love. And and it's equal. Like the six, you saw the six of pentacles on the bottom. The six the six of pentacles talks about equal give and take. All right, it's reciprocity, and it's equal. The queen, the king, and the queen of cups. You both feel the same. Whoever this is, this is somebody that you feel the same way about. You want this this information or this person or or whatever this is. You want to know this. Somebody can feel like it's the right time. You both have your cups open. It's equal. Okay. This is cute. All right, for Libra. For Libra. I'm hearing, don't stop, get it, get it. <laughs> Somebody's in despair about this, though. Um, or worried or, or nervous, okay, or anxious about whatever this is. Look, six of cups. It wanted to fall out. It fell out. There could be a Virgo, a Scorpio, or a Leo. This could be the person that's trying to hold on to this tower moment. It's trying. It's like it's, it's this feels like somebody's ex. It could be your ex or the person that you're thinking about or the person that's coming towards you. But it's the ten of the ugh, the four of Pentacles is about holding on tightly to something, right? And then the tower is like something eighteen eighteen on the timer. The tower is falling, right? It's almost like this person, whoever this ex is or whoever, whether it's on your side or the other person's side, could be on both of your sides. Um, It seems like this person is literally trying, like the tower is falling, but the person is trying to hold a building up to keep it from falling. Like you can't keep the building from falling by, you know, just putting your hands up there. It's kind of like that. Like, somebody's trying to delay the inevitable. But, like, the tower's going to fall anyway. And somebody's just going to have to watch it crumble. Somebody doing spell. Ooh, somebody doing spell work. Ooh, somebody doing spell work. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. I felt it over here. And I felt, and, and with this king of swords in the reverse, I felt it over here. But now, you got the high priestess to the moon card to the damn queen of wands. Mm -mm. And then the king of swords came out in the upright. And this deck. <sighs> what is this? 
to, to slow something down. I told you. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles is the next card. That, remember I said somebody's trying to slow down whatever this is, stagnate whatever this is. This is this person that's desperately trying to hold on to some person or some situation. They they could be watching you and stop stalking you and spying on you as well, too. You and this person. Somebody desperately wants to hold on to a connection that they have with a person or hold on to a person. And they are doing spell work. To slow this shit down or to hold this person back. Yeah, eight of cups to keep somebody stuck in trap. And it's multiple people. Three of cups. Could be a, like a, a group of people. The chariot and the three of wands. I feel like this person is pushing forward anyway. Somebody trying to stop somebody from pushing forward. Yeah, there's the page of cups to the, to the king of cups. Trying to stop this offer. Oh my gosh, y'all. Uh... Okay, let me just get one card because I don't even get the one card. There's a reconciliation happening that somebody is trying desperately to stop, hold back, slow down. And they're willing to go to extremes for this. Whoever this person is. Or these people. Like I said, it could be an ex on your side. Your person side or both. Shit. Eight of Wands. That damn communication. The Eight of Wands has popped up three freaking times. I don't know if this communication, this is forward movement. This could be talking about travel. Somebody wants to come towards you or somebody wants to say something or have a conversation, but it's fast movement. And this is also somebody trying to send you something. This could be, yeah, the hangman to stop somebody's choice or something like that. Look, you got the Ace of Wands to the Ace of Cups to the Knight of Swords, child, whatever this is. This may be somebody coming in wanting to talk to you. Like the ex wanting to talk to you or something like that. Because it keeps coming out. Like, I keep, I've seen the Eight of Wands so many times and I'm, like, trying to, like... Okay, there's the eight of wands. I'm not really acknowledging it, but now it's coming out. I feel like this person wants to talk to you. The tower, yeah, they want to, or they want to talk about an ending. Somebody wants to expose somebody, or yeah, this emperor. But they're just trying to cause conflict so that the, so that you don't want this person. There's a justice card. You over here just minding your business. And there's a big ending between somebody else. This person wants to come in and give to you. Now this ex-person wants to talk to you about this tower moment. And they want to come in and expose this person. Some of you, they may tell you that this person has some type of STD with the Nine of Wands here. Um... And I'm not saying they do or they don't, child. I don't know. But I'm just saying this, that might be what they say. They could, Or they could just be talking about this person sexually for some reason. Like, maybe maybe they just saying something like, if it's a, if it's a female, because, you know, this type of shit females do. Like, oh, my God, he got a small penis. And if it's a dude, they could be like, oh, her coochie stank or something like that, right? But <sighs> somebody childish. Yeah, you got the page of swords out here anyway. Somebody's trying to see where they can cause conflict in this situation, in this connection. With the five of wands here, this is conflict, chaos, drama. If I was using the love oracle deck, this would be snake energy, right? The other person, somebody that's in secret competition with you. Yeah, like I said earlier, the other woman or the other man. Take it how it resonates. This could be, and if it's not any of that exposing type of stuff like that that I was talking about, um, this could be somebody that's just wants you to know that or wants to tell you that this person is still sleeping with them. This could be somebody that they have kids with, like their baby mama, their baby daddy. This person may may, may want to tell you that, oh, well, me and this person are still sleeping together or whatever. What's this night of the wands? I feel like for most of you, you protected. This person wants to come towards you and say something to you, but either they're being blocked by your guys your spirit team or you just block them you just like i'm fuck i'm not no bitch no <laughs> what 
I'm hearing a random number pop up on your phone. So if you see a random number pop up on your phone, 2444, as it's on the timer, you're like, uh-uh. Especially if this has already been happening. Or I don't answer random numbers anyway. So King of Wands. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Somebody has malicious intent. This is somebody that this person has slept with or has been sleeping with. Now, I don't know if they still sleeping with. Like I said, this could just be somebody that they got kids with. and Or like a bitter baby mama or a bitter ex. that They're saying that this person is... is why can't I get my words out? Y'all, since the beginning of the damn reading, I can't get my shit out. They have slept with this person. Okay? That with the seven of swords here. Yeah, this person is lying, y'all. Look, y'all see? I didn't even know. that. I just put the deck on this card. And I don't know what it is. It's turned the opposite direction. But before, oh, look, the lover's card right there. How did they get like this? Uh, this is how I split the deck. Okay, I'm going to see what that card is, but hold on. Bottom of the deck, you have the seven of swords to the devil card and the judgment. This person lying, y'all. And y'all going to find out that this person is lying. Or either this person wants to tell you about your person lying to you about something. But I feel like it's all in the effort to like... Get you in your head about this person to have you, you know, just not trusting this person or something like that. This feels, ugh, this person. You got the lover's card right here. You may be dealing with a Gemini. What is this? The fool child. Yeah, they don't want you to have this new beginning with this person. So they're trying to get you to walk away from this offer. Hopefully, hoping, ugh, hoping that this person will come back and invest back into them. That's all it is. This is definitely somebody that they haven't been with, though, slept with, been in a situation with. I I'm hearing yesterday. Oh, my God. Did somebody sleep with this person yesterday, honey? Or this is what they're going to say. Oh, they were with me yesterday. I don't know. This person, whoever this your person is, they're sitting in the King of Cups Emperor energy. I feel like this is somebody that they got real feelings and genuine feelings and emotions for you. We already saw that with the King and the Queen of Cups. This person is an emperor. They're an emperor. They're... I just feel like highly desired. This could be somebody that's very stable, very hardworking. This is like a good person. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this ex knows that this is a good person and they realize that they may have fumbled a good person or messed over a good person and now they want to come in and cause some type of drama because when realizing that this person is giving giving to another you know somebody else and realizing that somebody else is about to get or receive what this person has been given to them yeah look there's the empress there's the empress and there's the knight of pentacles that's slowing down this person is trying to slow down this union there's the damn empress something told me to pull from the top of the deck two of pentacles they want to have this person confused or have you like i said have you confused about this person have you having second thoughts about this person because they're in regret that they that they missed out on this opportunity with this person. They did something. Somebody fumbled somebody somewhere. Whether this is an ex of yours or an ex of, they, or ex of the person you're dealing with or the person that will be coming towards you. Ace of Swords on top of the Empress. I feel like, yeah, and I said, I said confusion is about to be over. You're going you're gonna to know the truth. You're going to see the truth. You're going to know the truth. Yeah, yeah. Boy, I can't. Because this person just wants this person to come back around to heal this connection with them. You got the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and the Empress here. This is, you know that this is your person with the Ten of Pentacles out here. You know what's up. You already know, Libra. You know this is your person. And you know that this is going to be some bullshit. Look. How you things is lining up with you? The Justice card is lining up with the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and the Empress. Justice and the Empress are your energy. How you lining up with yourself? Nine of Pentacles. This person is hurting, upset because they about to be out here single. They want to fix this situation. Now they're regretting whatever happened, um, transpired between them and that person. Or there's an ex that's regretting something that transpired with you. See you out here single or know you about to be snatched up and they don't want to be out here single. So they're going to try to come in and jeopardize whatever the hell is going on here. 
Child, but you're standing in your power here with the... <laughs> I can't. And with the Ten of Pentacles here, this person, whoever this, this emperor, em emperor is for you, King of Cups, Emperor, they want to make some type of commitment here with you. We saw it with the King and the Queen of Cups. What you have been manifesting, you know the truth. You're going to feel the truth. And even if you want to, you know, say something to this person, you're going to get to the bottom of it. But I feel like you're not going to just let any any type of naysayers or negative Nancys or karmic ass people come in and try to get up in your ear and in your head and just be like, oh, shit, that's what happened. Well, I'm done with this person. That's exactly what they want you to do. Lined up with the two of pentacles, which is that juggling energy, which is confusion energy or making a choice is the world card, which talks about ending out a cycle. Ending a chapter, starting a new beginning. This person is not confused anymore. I said that at the beginning when we saw the Seven of Cups. Somebody coming out of confusion. Ten of Swords is an ending, the end of confusion. The Hermit card. This person ain't trying to be alone, just like you ain't trying to be alone. The Hermit energy is here. You could be done with a Virgo. Aquarius energy is out here. Sagittarius, Scorpio. I'm hearing something about September. Something about Libra season could be significant. I don't know, child, but I just feel like... What's the five of the wands? Uh-oh. Dang, I done messed these cards all up. Hold on. See, yeah, this queen of wands is just hoping for a victory to get back with this person. Somebody may be pregnant, too, or try to trap somebody with a baby. Or maybe somebody's going about to say they pregnant. All right, what's the five of wands? This person really wants to talk. They're adamant about it. Justice to the Ten of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, to Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups. King of Swords. Yeah, whatever this person plans on doing or have they already done it or whatever... It's all in an effort to get this person to come back to them. That's it. They feel like you're about to um, receive some type of commitment, stability offer from, from this person, and they're trying to sabotage it. Like, that's, that's just it. And I feel like this person may want to talk to you. They may try to hit you up. Ah, your child... I just saw 32, 22 in the timer. Let's pull from, um, let's pull from the love oracle child. Oh, I did not expect this to come into turn it. Look, reconciliation and wedding. What's this energy? Romantic feelings. So my, this person, this could be you, this person. There's, there's, um, I'm hearing, I was excited cause I was falling, falling in love with you. Now that I've fallen, what am I gonna do? And then I say somebody was feeling regret. This could be this person, this, your person could feel regret because it says mistake, uh, mistake, guilt, wrong choice, apology. They, they may regret ever even having feelings for or dealing with whoever this person is. Change. There's a change here that, that's happening. Somebody could be afraid of change. Something is happening as it's supposed to with divine timing here. What's the energy spirit? What's the energy? Ooh, 
Ooh, healing. And it jumped over here on top of the king and the queen of cups. Hmm. Okay. I feel like whatever this connection is, it's strong. And it has to be because we saw the king and the queen of cups. And then we saw the emperor and the empress in the other deck. And I feel like healing, you guys healing each other. Healing each other's hearts. This may be what somebody's fearful of. Child, yeah, this third party is the one that's in fear. Yeah, fear and third party. This is what this third party is fearful of. This this romantic love between the two of you. Also, this, this third party is fearful of having to fend for themselves when it comes to finances. Because this person may have been their um like their cash cow or their, their financial provider or the breadwinner or something like that. And that came out yesterday too. Um, in the reading I did yesterday, but well, you guys are healing each other. And this, this is exactly what this third party was fearful of. This is why they were trying to block and stop this connection because they knew that if, and when the two of you came back together, that it was going to be a healing, beautiful connection with a whole lot of love and feelings here. Yeah. Somebody's going through a divorce with the finances and the, and the legal matters here. Somebody paying for a lawyer going through a, the, um, Separation, divorce here. And look, because they secretly crushing on you with new love. Mm -hmm. Expect communication. From this jealous, bitter person. Grass is greener. From the person that somebody thought the grass is greener with. Expect communication from this jealous person. Who is single? Somebody is surrendering their ex-lover, going through a spiritual awakening. This player energy that's in regret. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this karmic person there wants to talk to you. Uh, what? Let me see. What this person want to say to you? Do I got time for this? Oh Lord. Anything else from this deck? Look. This is your soulmate. After this person breaks up from this toxic person, leaves this toxic relationship. Yeah, they could have thought that this person was their soulmate, but this is your soulmate. That came out. Uh, the reading that I did yesterday about... Um, shoot, I can't remember the title. Oh, you mirroring each other. Yeah. Check that reading out if you didn't, if you're resonating with this. Anything else from this deck here? <laughs> I can't. Look at the reconciliation. It's happening. That, the, ugh, it's happening. This person is distancing themselves from, from this other person. You guys can have a telepathic music, uh, blah, 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 something with music, some type of connection with music. Somebody didn't even know that they was living with a snake in their home, child. Whole snake out here. Pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities. You could be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities. Oh, they want me to get the box. Hold on. Not the messy box, guys. My other box. <laughs> All right, so reconciliation. It says reunion, second chance, back together, and I miss you. The reconciliation is happening between you and this person, and that's exactly what this third party is fearful of. All right, I want to see what this person wants to say to you before I pull from that box. <laughs> What is this? What's up? What's up with this third party spirit? This just what's up? Tell me, give me energy on this third party. What is, what's up with this third party? See, this third party. See, look, side chick drama. <laughs> Okay, this third party could have felt like or told this person that they were in some type of spiritual connection. If this if this third party energy is spiritual in any type of way, 
They could have told this person, oh, you're my soulmate. You're my twin flame. We're meant to be. You're my other half. Da, 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 da. Okay. This, and you know, now I, this person's going to start some drama. They're going to start some drama. Okay. I told you, I said that. Um, you have settling here. It says I got mouths in this relationship. This person feels like they put too much time, energy, effort, money, whatever into this person to let them go. That's why they're fighting so hard. It says I got miles in this relationship. Like I put in too much time. I had I had to actually spend time with this person. I slept with this person. I we did this and did that and you know, I don't, I don't even like the way my voice changed and it seems very fake. Give me more about this third party. It's like you only want to be with this person because of some type of investments or something like that. Like they, they, they not, whoever this third party is, they're not even looking at this person, your person, or if this is a third party on your behalf, they're not even looking at you as like, like, I don't know, like romantically or nothing like that. It's just like, it's more like an investment. I don't know. It's weird. Somebody gonna be trying to get pregnant or say that they're pregnant. Codependent relationship, not enough give and take. Yeah, there's no reciprocity in this relationship. This person could have been just taken, taken, taken from your person. Tell me more about this third party spirit. I, the self piece, piece is key card came out and then I heard don't worry about it so spirit's like don't even worry about it yeah long, wow distance is here again I feel like you don't have to worry about it because this is like something in the distance this person yeah just focus on you just focus on you and your connection and your situation I feel like you're unbothered. As soon as I as soon as this peace card came out, I heard don't worry about it. So they're like, don't even worry about this third party energy, this third party connection. Like, who cares? Keep it pushing. Distance yourself from this shit. Keep it, <laughs> keep it pushing. And for those of you who may be dealing with somebody that is like married and going through a divorce, okay, and you and this you like you you want to deal with this person. But you know that they're going through some stuff. You could be distance yourself away from that. Stay out of that drama until that shit is over with. All right? Because we've been picking up on that heavily. And just stay out of that shit until it's over with. Don't get caught up or sucked up in the middle of that drama. This is you. This is how you need to be over here. Distance yourself from that. Be over here. zen out. yoga out. Matcha tea. Whatever it is that you do. Reading your books. Doing the same thing that you were doing. Before this person came back around or came around, okay? You let them handle they ish and you just do you, okay? <laughs> All right, you have May. Oh, that's crazy. So, yeah, I feel like that channel message that I have is, yeah, okay. May is going to be significant here. Hmm. I have, a, I have channel messages for a reading that I'm going to do later for you guys. Um, 30 days. So something about the next 30 days or hmm, interesting. Okay. You have 929. You could be seeing angel number 929. December is out here. Could be done with the Capricorn or Scorpio. Um, Taurus or Gemini. 909, 909. You could be seeing some of you are closing this chapter out, closing this out. Nine two two. These could be times that's significant for you as well. So something about nine is significant. Nine a.m. or p.m. Nine twenty nine. Nine twenty two. Nine oh nine. Two two two. 
eight hours, set a timer for eight hours and see what happens, okay? Just set a timer for eight hours and be like, see what happens. You may get some type of confirmation of this message or something, okay? Somebody could be having car trouble. You may have some type of car trouble in the next eight hours. Maybe that's some type of confirmation or you may even like see a car on the side of the road with some car trouble or something. I don't know, okay? But for dates out here, you have December... 17th, December 1st, December 20th, December 3rd, December 23rd, December 21st, December, oh, say 20th, um, December 4th, December 18th. Yeah. Um, also, same for May. May, May 17th, May 1st, May 20th, May 3rd, May 23rd, May 18th, um, May 4th, May 21st. All right, a few more. 10 is out here. All right, you could be seeing 12, 12. And 11, 11, 13. Some of you are dealing with the Scorpio or something or Something is ending here, okay? Could be dealing with an Aries as well or Gemini. Um, yeah, I see 48 hours right here. So go back and if you're resonating with this, go back and read that, read that, go back and watch that next 48 hour reading and 1144 could be significant. Okay. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave this here. I hope that this helped give you some type of clarity for your situation. If you guys need any to book a personal reading information is below. I'll see y'all in the next reading. All right. Bye guys. Love you.